Today, I'm going to compare an Apple AirTag to a Galaxy SmartTag. This will not be an in-depth review. There are plenty of other good videos on YouTube for that. Now, some people use these tags to track car keys, pets, luggage. But in this video, I want to focus on putting these in a car to test if you could actually track it in a metropolitan area halfway decently if it were to get stolen. I know there are plenty of GPS trackers out there to choose from, but that monthly subscription fee of $20 to $30 can add up. And then with a lot of GPS trackers, you have to recharge the batteries every couple of weeks. I mean, that's a major inconvenience. With the smart tags and the air tags, each one is priced under $30 with no subscription fee. And the batteries are supposed to last for about a year before they need replacing. So these tags work by using other people's phones. They pick up the Bluetooth signal and through tech magic, it relays the position of the tag back to your phone. Keep in mind that a Bluetooth signal only goes about 30 feet. So somebody's phone would need to get fairly close to the tag. One catch is that the AirTags only pick up signals from iPhones with iOS 14.5 or later, and SmartTags only pick up signals from Samsung Galaxy phones. So not just any Android phone, but just the Galaxy models. I'm gonna put both of them in a car and I will drive to three or four places and see if either tag picks up any signals from any phones. Can it pick up signals while you're driving? At stoplights? Does the car need to be parked for a while? I'm gonna test. So at home base, I'm using an old Galaxy S9 Plus and an iPhone 11 Pro. iPhone uses the Find My app and Galaxy uses the SmartThings app. Both are very easy to use. I'm gonna now go for a drive and see what happens. All right, so the first stop will be this Food Lion parking lot. We're just gonna go up in here and find a space and chill out for 15 minutes and see if either one of the tags picks up another phone. It's not too crowded in this parking lot. So I'm just gonna park right up in here. Like that. And we'll just stay here for 15 minutes and see what happens. It's been 15 minutes. So let's leave and go to another location. Saw a few people walking by. Recording started. The car. Uh, so maybe they had some phones in their pocket. Maybe the tags picked them up. We will find out. Coming to a pretty busy intersection, a lot of traffic around. Let's see if this triggers the air tags to take a location. Gonna pull up in a Walmart parking lot. See if that does anything. I've been at the Walmart for about 15 minutes. So, I'm going to leave and go somewhere else. Look for one more location to hang out at. See how well these smart tags and air tags work. If they even work at all. Alright. Let's get up out of this creepy parking lot. Walmart parking lots can be a little creepy, I must admit. Okay, I think I found a third location. Busy area up in here. Some shops. A lot of cars around. I'll pull up in there. Park somewhere. Let's just go up in here. And park somewhere around here and 
this close to the Starbucks coffee. This will be our third location. Let's see if we can pick up anything. So I just got home from driving around and checked the two phones out I left at home base. The Galaxy Smart Tag did a great job at the tracking. Not only did it record the position of my three stops, but also at quite a few traffic lights as well. Impressive. The Apple AirTag, however, I just found out that it doesn't record the history, at least not at the time of making this video. So at this test, there's no way to know how it did. It only shows you where the tag last recorded a position. So of course, it's showing me my home location right now. So I'm going to have to give the air tag to a friend to drive around with so I can test it out. There is one other component to stashing these tags in your car. Due to stalking issues, the tags are required to send a notification to our would-be thief's phone, letting them know there is an air tag or a smart tag in the car following them around. Because you see, the tags don't know what purpose you might be using them for. If you're trying to illegally stalk somebody, the tags have to reach out to the person to give them a heads up after a certain period of time. We've got to test that too to see if that is in fact the case and how long it does take for them to get a notification. But in our case, tracking a stolen car, hopefully we will already know where the car goes before the thief were to even get notified. Actually, even if the thief were to get notified, they still have to find the tags hidden in the car before they can dismantle them. And yeah, you could potentially hide two or three of each tag in a car, making them very difficult to find. And I'm assuming that if the thief has an iPhone or a Galaxy in their pocket with the Bluetooth turned on, the associated tag would easily get updated quite frequently as they drive around. I'm going to test that too. All right, I'm here at one of my brother's house and I'm going to give him these tags. So I'm going to let you have a Galaxy tag and an uh, Air tag. So a Smart tag and an Air tag. You put it in your truck All right. and just put it in that center glove box. That's good enough for now. Yeah, okay. And we're going to test. Make sure you put your... He's got a Samsung phone, a Galaxy. And we're going to make sure your Bluetooth is on. And we're going to see how many days or hours or days it takes for you to get a notification on your phone that you're being tracked. Right. And then these two give to your girlfriend, Lynn. All right. She's got a truck. She's at work right now. And she'll put them in her car. And she's got an iPhone. And we'll put those in her car and see how long it takes her to get a notification. So Lynn got her first notification on her iPhone that an AirTag was following her about 30 hours after it got put in her truck. She continued to get the same notification every day after that. The speaker in the AirTag also sounded off each day when she got in her truck to alert her that she was being tracked. Again, 30 hours before any notifications or sounds. Lynn got zero notifications or sounds from the Galaxy Smart Tag after five days of testing. My brother got zero notifications from the AirTag or Smart Tag on his Galaxy phone after five days of testing. He did, however, get the alert sound from the AirTag and each day after that. He said the AirTag would make noise for about 30 seconds each time it rang out. Lynn actually needed to drive to Lynchburg, Virginia on a business trip. Here is the impressive tracking history of the Galaxy Smart Tag. I watched the AirTag track her in real time with very similar results. It doesn't record the tracking history, so I can't show it to you, but I did take some screenshots from the app as she was driving. It's important to go ahead and remove the speakers on both tags so they have zero chance of alerting the thief to their exact location in the car if the software purposely makes them ring out. There are some videos on YouTube that will show you how to do this. 
I'm going to do one final test. I'm going to put two smart tags in my car and go for a drive. When I get back, I'll check the location history. And in theory, each tag should have picked up the same location at the same time and the same amount of locations. Is this going to be the case? Let's find out. So I checked out the location history and to my surprise, the two tags did not pick up the exact same locations as, as each other. And not only that, they picked up different locations at different times. So yeah, it didn't really match up, but they all track, they both tracked well and they tracked about the same amount of locations, just slightly off here and there, even though the tags are right beside each other. Go figure. And I also tested out the air tags in the car, two air tags, and they did the same thing. Right beside each other and still not exact locations. A little different here and there. Okay, we need a cool background for this. Air tags and smart tags both pick up about the same amount of locations when out and about. They are both quite accurate. I'd probably give the slight edge to the Apple AirTag with picking up the locations maybe a little faster and being the most accurate while driving around, at least in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. Uh, the, Sun, the Samsung SmartThings app <clears throat> requires a Wi-Fi connection while the Apple Find My app does not. That's kind of weird. Uh, I really like that history that location history feature of the smart tags that is cool i do like the layout of the apple find my app maybe a little bit better now it appears to make no difference if you have the same phone with corresponding tag and bluetooth turned on in a car it just doesn't seem to make the tag update any more frequently for some reason both tags can definitely update while being driven down an interstate. They do not have to be to stop, although it does help. When a car ends its route in a neighborhood residential driveway, it can sometimes take many hours to update, but it usually does update to the exact location if you give it time. There were a few instances when I was testing the AirTags when the Bluetooth range had to have been 60 feet or more because it would have been impossible for an iPhone to get any closer than that with the scenario I was analyzing. I do like how the air tags are thinner, making them easier to hide in a car, but the smart tags make it possible to connect them to something else without having to buy an accessory due to the loop molded into the plastic. In my testing, the smart tags sent out zero notifications and didn't make the speaker ring out at all. Overall, I'd call it a draw as to which tag is actually better. I mean, if you have an iPhone, get the AirTags. If you have a Galaxy, get the Smart Tags. If you have both, I'd get both tags for the most reliability. These tags work quite well. Maybe not as well as a GPS tracker, but quite well and cost considerably less.